Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word, oh God. I thank you, Lord, for feeding us today. I ask that you just anoint the lips of your servant, oh God. Anoint your word as it go forth. Oh Lord, anoint the ears that will hear. Prepare the hearts that will receive it, oh God. That you will be glorified in us. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And thank you, God. Ah, how family, how you doing today? I thank God for this hot bread. I thank him for being so faithful to us. I, I thought of you, Evangelist Peggy, as when I heard the title of this hot bread in meditation, and it is Trust Him Always. You see, Evangelist Peggy, every morning at 5 a.m. ends her prayer with Trust Him Always. Uh, uh, before I even read Psalm 62 verses 5 through 8 is where we are coming from, where this is being born or birthed out of. I want to tell you a little bit about the writer. The writer is King David. Uh, he is the writer of this psalm. And before God anointed King David, uh, uh, God called him. He called him from the fields, attending sheep. Uh, God called him unto the field of the Lord. Glory to attend his sheep. For David will become the the king of Israel. But David's family didn't always have an easy life. Some of us, we don't have an easy life. Saul, Saul who was the first king of Israel, he hated David. He had a, a, a envy, a jealousy that he hated David. Uh, an example of that is uh, a certain man who comes on the news all the time and he let everyone know who he hate, who he envy of, who he is jealous of. Of. And it was the same way with Saul and his hatred for David. It was for everyone to see. Everyone knew that he want, Saul wanted to kill David. Uh, David had to run for his life. He literally had to run for his life. And it wasn't no short time. This was uh, 10 years or more that David was running from Saul. You see, he was no longer sleeping in the comfort of his bed. He was no longer eating uh, at the king's table, David will become tired, he will become hungry, and he will become cold. And even though David experienced these things, these testings, he will be confident in God, uh, and he will be so confident that he, his faith will be so um, unmovable, unshakable in his belief in God. He trusted God to deliver him. He just, and he just didn't trust him that one time. No, David trusted God more than one time. He trusted God always to deliver him out of his troubles. Uh, now before uh, Saul, the first king of Israel, Israel will die, uh, before he is killed in battle, uh, David's enemy, uh, uh, God will deliver David from his trouble. God will deliver David. He will call uh, call Saul to no longer uh, uh, chase after him. Listen to me. God will send David to a place that Saul will not go. Family, God will give us rest. He will give us peace. Yes, he will give us peace in him. Ah, he will give us a place to go that Satan in him, that Satan will not go. Ah, we just have to trust him always. Uh, now this uh, brings me to uh, where we are right now in this scripture. You see, even after God delivered David from the first trouble, uh, David is now king and his son Absalom will rise up against him and David will be on the run again. It seems like family, as soon as we get out of one trouble, another trouble comes, but we have to trust him always. This was no easy time for David, yet he trusted God. He said in Psalm 62, 5 through 8, he said, let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. I told you, God will put us in a place that Satan will not go, that Satan cannot reach us. We just have to trust him always. Oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Oh, I just want to encourage us today to have trust in God. Hallelujah. We have to trust 
him for our job. We have to trust him for our healing. We have to trust him for our children. We have to trust him for our marriages. We have to trust him always. Be encouraged, family. Trust God always. 